So why don't you tell me what your uh, like health, fitness, weight was like prior to Fit Body? Uh, prior, I definitely was overweight. I really didn't do any fitness or exercises other than um, like walking my dog. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sedentary actually is how I was before I joined in June of last year. Yeah. And then before you came to Fit Body, did you try other diets or like different workout programs or anything like that? Um, I have different uh, like videos that I've purchased over the years. Uh, some of them I would do. Some of them I couldn't do. Yeah. <laughs> um, when you say couldn't, was that like because um, you didn't like know how to do the exercises or like physically they were almost like too intense? Th- yeah, physically, some of them I just couldn't. I couldn't do what the programs that I purchased, thinking, "Oh, okay, this will be all right." And then yeah. I looked at the videos, and I'm like, "Yeah, no, <laughs> I can't do that." Yeah. Um, I did like a long time ago. I did join curves, but I just I don't think I was in the mind frame of wanting to actually do something. Mm. Like I may join something or a different program or do a video, but I, my mind wasn't there. I hadn't made the commitment to say, no, I need, I need to do this. Right. And for some reason that happened in June of last year. (laughs) Yeah. Well, everyone gets to that point eventually. And that's really funny because Tammy last week, like said almost the exact same thing about being ready. And it's really important. Like sometimes people, they, everybody wants it at some point and you just, I don't know, there's something about that mindset that just gets there eventually where you get to the point where you're going to do it no matter what. You're just going to like stay mm-hmm. committed. You're going to stay dedicated. But yeah, you do almost have to like get there as as a person. Yeah, it, it, it's a huge, it's, it is a change. It's a, a, life child, a lifestyle change. So you need to be ready to make that change yeah. and until you're ready to do it it's it, you're not going to yeah well there's and there's a big difference because I guess what you're describing is the difference between being committed to making habitual changes versus doing a program hoping for like the silver bullet because I think what a lot mm-hmm. of people do is they join this program thinking like okay this is going to be the one where I lose a weight and then that doesn't work and then okay so now I'm going to do this program and that's going to be the one that doesn't work so people are looking for like the quick fixes when really at the end of the day, there is no quick fix. Otherwise, the fitness industry, weight loss industry wouldn't even exist because everyone would be at their ideal weight. Mm -hmm. Because what we need to do is we need to make habitual changes where, you know, like you're slowly changing your nutrition habits and your workout habits and you're shifting the identity of who you are as a person. And that takes, that takes time. That takes years to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so that's the biggest difference. Like totally what you're describing is that you were ready to make those habitual changes in your life, which leads to success now and long-term, which is really yes. important. Yeah. Why did you decide to eventually give Fit Body a try? <laughs> I honestly, I, I'm not too sure. There was, you guys had ran um, a 28 day challenge yeah. in the summertime and the price seemed right at that moment. I was like, okay, I don't know what I was getting into. I didn't know exactly what Fit Body um, was going to be, but I was like, okay, for 28 days, I can try it. See if I like it. If I don't like it, I'm not out a huge amount of money. Um, I haven't committed for a year. So yeah, yeah. So I had done it for 28 days and I actually enjoyed the exercises. I enjoyed the programs. And then it just, it just started from there where I just kept joining other challenges. Yeah. What do you what do you love most about Fit Body? Um, the actual like I don't everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, the coaches and the environment. Um, when I first walked in, like I didn't know if I could do any of those exercises. I didn't know what to expect. Um, but everyone was quite welcoming and could give me other options. Yeah. to be able to do certain exercises because there was no way in the beginning. I, I couldn't do a regular push-up. Mm-hmm. I couldn't do um, certain planks. So it, to have those options and not feel like, okay, I can't, I can't do this. 
right. to have the coaches come around and be able to say, you know what, we'll try it this way or, um, yeah, like, so the, the program itself, like the, the routines that you guys do, yeah. I, and I've said this before, I don't think I've ever done the same routine twice. Yeah. In the whole time I've been there, Ex- some of the exercises, yes, but a, a actual routine, I've not ever had the same one twice. Yeah, every single workout is different for sure. It's different, yeah. And the environment, the people that are there, like the the members, yeah. it's like your own little kind of community and family. And I don't know, I just, I enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, those things that you describe are, are what we focus on. Um, I always say results, community and relationships. And uh, I don't. I almost don't even like saying community, especially in the fitness world, because it's almost a cliche <laughs> nowadays. Like every gym has a community, and I mean that's true to a point. But definitely, mm-hmm. what we've built at Fitbody is different. And I always say like it's not us and the coaches that have built it. It's like it's you guys. And I think it's because everybody, almost like ninety nine percent of the people that are there are on a weight loss journey of some kind, and so everybody mm-hmm. is sort of aligned with very similar goals and they're to like help each other and it creates this warm welcoming feeling it doesn't matter if you're looking to lose 10 pounds or 200 pounds it, it's just it's really it's a really neat family just like you like you said mm-hmm. yeah what have been uh, your results today why don't we start what are your what's been your <laughs> weight loss results and then let's talk about what are some other non-scale victories um weight loss i between 70 to 75 pounds. Cool. And I went through just before here to see how many inches. And I think I'm around 51 inches that I've lost. That's awesome. That's awesome. So in like a year and a half, I yeah. think. Which is a great time. Like lots of times people, it's funny. Like if I were to ask someone like, hey, do you want to lose 75 pounds? It'll take you a year and a half to two years. They kind of like, well, I'd like to lose it in like six months. But you're yeah. like proof of doing it slow is good. When I don't really like when people say losing weight fast is unhealthy. It's not that it's necessarily unhealthy. The problem is you don't build the habits that go along with it. So you do like a mm-hmm. program that maybe like takes you through this thing and like, like biggest loser and you can lose weight really fast, but you're just following a plan and you're not changing your life and you're not building the habits. Yeah. Whereas when you take that slower approach, that's when you change your identity and then you lose that weight and you keep it off forever, which is the ultimate goal. You know, like Mm -hmm. I guarantee you if I went to a hundred people on the street and I said, all right, I'm going to give you two options. We can lose 50 pounds in a year and you can keep it up for the rest of your life. Or we can lose 50 pounds in three months, but you're going to gain it back and then we're going to do it again. You're going to gain it back and then you're going to do it again. Then we're going to gain it back. Which option would you choose? And everybody would pick the longer option. But when it comes down to it, a lot of people don't have the patience. Like you said, they're not ready to really change those habits, but that's what it takes for sure. And then what have been some non-scale victories? I was trying to think of that. <laughs> um, I, I'm not too sure. I guess maybe a I'm little sure more confidence. Stronger. I'm sure you're stronger. Strong, yes, because I, I now can do an actual push-up. Yeah. Um, a couple of them, not... Yeah, so I can do a few of them, which I could not do for the longest time. Yeah. My muscles are definitely toned yeah. my clothes I've had to change my whole wardrobe well if you've lost 51 um, inches you probably do have to change your wardrobe <laughs> <laughs> um and when I had started I had quite bad uh plantar fasciitis and now I don't yeah and I contribute that to weight loss yeah so like yeah. I, I'm quite glad that I don't have that. Some of the exercises when I first started, I had a very hard time doing any high impact because of that. Mm-hmm. Whereas now I, I, I can. Right. So. Yeah. And what you said, you said your confidence too. Like I can tell you knowing you now for a year and a half, like seeing your transformation <laughs> internally is, is night and day. And, and like your confidence having a conversation is like, it's, it's been really cool to see that shift. Um, in, in that confidence in you as a person. Wow. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> um, all right. What would you say to someone who, who's, you know, interested in joining, but nervous? Um, you know, they're, they're scared to walk through the doors. They don't think they can do boot camp, boot camp, so to speak. Um, I, I would just say, try it. Um, really there's, you have nothing to lose, but everything to gain is how, uh, what I, have said to other people. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, like it's, 
if you can go in there and, and try for a few times or do a 28 day thing or whatever fits what they would like to do, if they just give it a chance, more than likely, they're probably going to want to follow through with it and mm-hmm. continue with it. It's 30, 30 minutes, 35 minutes of your day that you can probably schedule into your life. Yeah, It's, I don't know, like it, you can make it as hard or as easy as you want while you're in there, depending on what your fitness level is. And you can increase that as you get stronger. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really, there's you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Yeah. By just stepping in those doors and just trying it. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, you're 100% right. And that's why we do that 28-day program all the time is so people, like you said, they don't have to worry about, I'm not signing up for a year right off the bat or whatever it is, like a lot of gyms do. Mm-hmm. Just come in, see if you like it. If you don't, like, hey, friends forever. But uh, hopefully it will be a place that we can change your life because that's kind of what we do. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, awesome, Suzanne. I appreciate the call. It's, uh, it's cool connecting and hearing the different stories, especially the different transformations that people go through. Well, thank you. Okay, awesome, Suzanne. We'll talk to you later.